Now you know in VFD we have an internal counter. Okay, it has internal counter which can be used to count any events. And when the event is complete, or you know, if you have some you know application in which you don't want that that event should occur more than X times. If that occurs, you have to show a fault on your drive. So you can count that event. Okay, for example, if your limit switch is pressed 10 times in your application, you want drive to stop. That can be any application, or you want some sensor to be on for 10 or 15 times, motor should be stopped. So how we can achieve that so first is we have to assign the counter terminal which terminal should be used to count that event okay so we can assign that to m2 m3 m4 m5 any any one of them so let's assign m3 so m3 is you know m3 is your parameter 40 in 40 we have to assign this as counter trigger signal this is the counter trigger signal which will start counting it okay which will start take the counts so in parameter 40 we have to enter 18 which is by default I have just entered its 18 so this is counter trigger signal okay now when it is start counting it needs it needs a counter reset terminal as well which can be used to reset the counter in case okay, this can be an application so the next terminal to that we have take we have took counter reset so m4 parameter 41 we have entered counter reset so in 41 we have 90 already there okay so it will reset the counter now next step is fault reset because you have a fault which is again ef external fault that needs to be reset so we have used terminal m2 to reset the fault so in 39 we have entered 05 so you can see here 39 it's 05 to reset the count to reset the fault not the counts then you have counter value how much value you need to count how much value you need to you know evaluate that beyond that there should be a fault so that comes in parameter 96 so have a look here parameter 96 says counter countdown complete this is the value which we need to put here okay so parameter 96 I'll jump to 96 Here you have I have entered 09 I can enter 10 so I need 10 events beyond that it should it should give it a give me a fault then the last parameter we, which we need to add is counter completion action what should happen when the counter complete its counts so it's 139 so treatment for counter attain continue operation or stop immediately and display EF so if it continues operation then you know it will not stop so here let's enter 01 which will stop the drive and the counter achieve its value. So 139, I have entered 01. Okay, so let's see what will happen now. This is the frequency. I have made this logic here with comments so that you can see very clearly. This is motor run Y0, Y1 is motor reverse, Y2 is M2, reset the fault. This will start, this will take the counts. It will, this is the Y3 is M3 which will increment the counter and this will reset the counter so this is frequency you can see the count signal coming here so when I run the motor motor is running you can see motor is running running now I can use counter increment this one so when I run this once it will C1 you can see the counter is C1 here so when I run it again C2 C3 C4 and when I press M33 it will reset the counter back to 0 I don't want that so let's move it to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now it will be 10 and beyond that you'll have a fault this is EF okay so to remove that fault we have to do reset but that case motor should be off okay now one more thing you have to reset the counter as well otherwise fault will not go okay reset the counter and then reset the fault sorry this one is the reset fault okay so after resetting the fault you can again run your motor and this can be again used to increment the counter C1 and again if I go beyond 10 6 7 8 9 10 9 and it's 10 and beyond that you have a fault 
you can reset the fault okay the motor can be run again so that's how you can count the events and get the fault to display on your drive in any application suitable to you all right thank you